Lights, camera, action. Wait, just got in town, and I won't let humanness clouds all in the sky. What it do, what it do, what's up, Andy Gang? I'm back with another video. Let's hang. <laughs> I know the last story time, number one, I'm gonna just be real honest with y'all. I really didn't like the way that last story time went. I feel like I was probably a little under the influence. And also, I really had to remember everything as I was going, which I need to stop doing that because sometimes it's like very hard for me to put everything together. But um, this one is also not written on paper. So I hope this goes well. So, let's get right into it before we do that make sure you like comment and subscribe and make sure you like 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 this video up if you are not subscribing to this video what are you watching me for like i know you're gonna watch this video i know you've seen my thumbnail you was like oh she cute like come on personal ig at it's barbie a also follow my business page at melanin barbie the brand now we get into it so a couple i think it was like a year and a half ago i was working at this job and i'm not gonna say the job because i don't want nobody to try to put pieces and pieces together or you know just for safety purposes and i used to train people at this job so i was training this guy so my manager he was young me and him was the same age so like we was like that this guy pulls up in a car or whatever so he walks out and i'm by the door in front and i'm like hey good morning how are you now y'all this boy looked like he was maybe 18 years old so i'm thinking in my head like this rude little bitch because he act like he really didn't want to talk to me like he was just like or like what's up or something like that so i'm thinking in my head like bitch okay walk past me and then um i think the other manager he told him like you come to the back or whatever i don't know if it's a man thing but he was listening to the man so he walked to the back with the man or whatever and I guess they had a little conversation. I was out still making sure everything was good with customers. And at this time, like that job was a very high volume job. When I tell you guys, like it was a rush every single day. So basically, um, he comes back out or whatever and I'm telling him like, Hey, my name is Annie. I'll be, you know, assisting you in training. And also, you know, if you need anything, just let me know. So I'm telling him what to do or whatever. Um, I'm giving him his stuff. Just as the day goes by, like I'm showing him what to do. Um, and we just like get to talking like me, him and the other girl that I was training. And we was talking about business and stuff like that. And honestly, y'all, I don't even know why I even let this conversation go to like trying to get to know each other. Like I should have just kept it straight professional, like no side talk, no nothing. But me just being me, I'm always like super nice. And so he started asking about like, um, like what did you guys do before this or blah, 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 blah. Or asking me like what made me, you know, get into what I was doing. So I basically told him like, you know, this is not the only thing that I do. I told him, you know, I'm a cosmetologist. I also um, have a small business, whatever. And this is when I first kind of started the business and I was getting trying to get things, you know, off the ground or whatever. And so um, he was just like, oh, you do hair? And I was like, yeah. So he was like, so why don't you get like a, basically asking me like, why don't I get like a storefront or like some kind of suite or some shit like that. So I was like, oh, that's in a process. But right now I'm not really interested in doing that. So he was saying that he was like basically a businessman. He was like, oh, you could give, um, basically trying to tell me if I was to give him my money or whatever, I would be able to get like um, a nice like storefront. Um, and that's what he eventually wants to do and wants to start like renting places out to people or whatever. And just saying like the bank would give you loans as if I'm not a business person myself. Yes, my business is small, but I still know certain things. I'm listening to him and I'm just like, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. But me being me, I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. I'm like, nah, not right now. I'm not really interested in doing that. So I go to ask him like, so what you was doing before? Because you want to question me. He questioned the other girl too. Um, and she told him or whatever. And i'm like so what you was doing before this or whatever so he was just like oh i used to be um basically saying like he used to be a cop so i'm like you used to be a cop 
okay mind you i'm still thinking in my head this boy looks 18 years old so um he's like yeah he so i was like why are you doing this now so he was just like oh because something had happened back home and i had to move over here um basically y'all long story short him and i guess his partner got in trouble with some um with some weapons after that i guess he was a manager for walmart and he got in trouble with the whole walmart thing too so I'm thinking in my head, why the hell this boy getting in trouble with all his jobs? I kind of low-key felt like he was lying about everything. Um, as the day is going by, I'm helping him or whatever. And I, like, I could just feel like he's being weird. The way he's looking at me. Then this lady had came up. She had a problem and me having to um, de-escalate, you know, issues. So she says something like, um oh you're really pretty or something like that you have a you got a gray hat on you so he says something like um i i hope she could be mine i'm like did i hear that correctly or so i basically like ignore it i walk to the back to go get what i need to get for the lady i come back out him and her are talking and they both look at me weird. The day goes by or whatever and it's time to close up. I tell him what he needs to do because I leave before everybody I had to go pick up my son. Whatever, I come back the next day. The girl that I was training, she comes to me and she's like, Annie. And I'm like, what happened? She's like, I got to tell you something. So I'm like, what? She's like, you know that boy that you was training yesterday? She was like, when you left, he told me some crazy things. So I'm like, what do you mean he told you crazy things? He told me that he liked you and that every time he see you, he wanted to lick or eat your... You know what, y'all? I was like, wait, 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 wait. What? So I'm just like, when, when did he say this? And she's like, right after you left. So I'm just like, why would he talk about me like that? So instantly, I was immediately disgusted. Just like, when he come in here, I'm gonna tell him about himself because you don't do that. So she's like, no, no, please. Like, she begged me. She's such a sweet girl. So I, for her sake, I did not say anything. Next day comes and he comes in. And now I'm pissed because after what this girl done told me, I don't even want to talk to you. I don't want to train you. I don't want to nothing. And I could have went to the other manager, the higher manager over me about it, but I left it alone. I could have said something, but I thought that maybe I could just handle it. So yeah, next day comes. I mean, he's smiling, like thinking everything all good and cute and just looking at me weird as fuck. So I'm telling him like, hey, we're going to name him Dante. So I'm telling him like, hey, Dante, you need to make sure that you do this, this and this. Because I'm starting to notice as the day goes by that he doesn't want to do anything. And a lot of it too was like more like for men. I don't feel like women should be lifting shit. And if, you, if it's men around, it was only three females one of the females she didn't have like a steady schedule like me so it was just me and the other girl and everybody else were men so my thing was why the hell you sitting here watching me and the other girl do this and number one i got other stuff that i need to do nice way but he still kind of like didn't budge or whatever so i end up going to the other store manager and this store manager we're gonna name him greg the one that I was, right, real cool, we was friends, we gonna name him Jay. The other one, we gonna name him Greg, and then Dante is Dante. So, I go to Greg, and I'm like, Greg, I need you to help me out. This nigga don't wanna do this, this, and this, jump in. So, he like, yeah, I got you. So, mind you, y'all, Greg had a crush on me, too, but Greg was professional. He never took it to the next level. He goes over there to him, and he like, yo, my man, like, Dante, you gotta do this, this, and this, and this. So, Dante, he start doing it or whatever. And I'm like, damn. And I just feel like eyes, like on me. So I'm freaking, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was on my phone or whatever. And I look up and this boy is staring at me. So I look up and I'm like, you good? Like, you need something? He was just like, I'm looking at something good. There's some shit like that. He I had ill. Put my head down keep going to my phone i'm scrolling even i'm not even supposed to be on my phone but it was just so awkward being around him and it came to the point where now throughout the day like i'm standing away from him like way like away so that way he can notice it this motherfucker is looking at my ass and he's looking at me like up and down and making weird grunt noises so i'm just like oh my god ew 
I'm just doing my other stuff or whatever. I'm restocking on some things because, I don't know, I was just trying to find shit to do to get away from him. The next day comes. And then we're gonna name her, the one that um, that I was training, we're gonna just name her Ruby. So Ruby comes to me and Ruby's like, Annie, I gotta tell you something again. And so I'm like, oh my God, what happened? So she comes to me and she's like, that he had a dream about you. So I'm like, he had a dream about me. So she's like, yeah, he told me that he had a dream that he was eating so-and-so and that y'all was together, y'all went out on a date. Disgusted. I was like, no, 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 I'm so sorry, Ruby, but I gotta say something to him. I have to because this is getting out of proportion and he keeps coming. For him to feel like it's okay for him to come and tell you this, like, that's not okay. And she's like, I know. And me, she's so quiet and she was like, I just listen, like, there's nothing I could really say. So I told her, like, next time he say something to you like that, tell him you don't want to hear that. Like, tell him this is not the place or time, like, you don't want to hear it. She begs me, like, please don't say nothing to him, please. So I'm like, okay, I won't say nothing. So I'm giving him like the illest look now. And he looking at me, he's like, why are you looking at me like that? I said, because you keep saying stuff that you're not supposed to be saying. And he's like, what you talking about? What you mean? So I had to catch myself and I let it go. Walked away. So when I walked to the back, Ruby come back to me again. She's like, basically like, Ruby, I know you told da, 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 like trying to check her. And I said, Ruby, if you don't stand up and say something to him, I'm going to say something to him. So she's like, no, 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 I don't want any problems, any please, you don't understand, blah, blah, blah. Maybe let's say like two weeks go by. I forgot how we came up with this, but he was just like, he has a car, but his car in his shop, so he has a rental car. So I'm just like, okay, I don't care. Like, okay. So one day he pulls up and his mom drops him off. So he walks out and he comes up to me and he's like, my mom says you're pretty. So I was like, thanks. Why is your mom saying I'm pretty? What are you telling this lady? He goes to the back, whatever. He come back out. Like, he be like, he hurry up. He come back out because he is just so ready to talk to me. He says to me and Ruby, like, he's like, do y'all want to um, go out with me and my uncle? We're going out bowling tonight. So I was like, nah, I don't, I can't, I can't go nowhere with you. So he was just like, he got offended and he got mad. And he was like, why you can't go out with me? And I was like, because I was like, I, it's not professional and I'm not interested in going out with you and your uncle. So he was just like, man, that's fucked up. You don't want to go out with me. It ain't nothing going to happen. We could just go out as friends. And then I turn around the third time and I'm like, no, I don't want to go out with you. And then Ruby was um, um, engaged. So Ruby definitely, Ruby was like, no, I can't. My fiance would not like that. And he's still like trying to push like, I guess his cousin, I mean, his uncle on uh, Ruby. And Ruby's like, no. So he mad now. He got an attitude. And now me being me, I don't give a damn. So Ruby come back to me and she's like, he was like asking me why, um, why we don't want to go out with him. What's the big deal or whatever. So I went back out there and I was like, Dante. I was like, you need to stop telling Ruby stuff. I was like, I'm not going nowhere with you. It's not professional. And I said, whatever you feel is going to happen. It's not going to happen. So stop. He's just like, man, what you talking about? I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing to Ruby, blah, 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 blah. So now at this point, he's constantly like going back to Ruby and saying things. And it's like he, at one point he tried to pin us against each other because he was just like, um, at one point I think he was trying to talk to Ruby. Then he was telling Ruby that he wanted to talk to me, that he liked me or whatever. So I feel like he was trying to pull us apart. So it just came to the point where now I'm not talking to him no more. Like the whole training thing is done. It's over with. So I just start ignoring him. I wouldn't talk to him no more. So after a while, um, I think like a week or two later after that, so now we probably like four weeks in. He's like, why you don't talk to me? So like, what do you mean? He's like, you don't talk to me no more. You don't say nothing to me. And I was just like, what do you want me to say to you? He's like, I don't know, like you talk to Ruby, but you don't talk to me. Y'all always got y'all own little thing going on. Y'all talk to each other, y'all laugh, but y'all don't ever include me. So at this point, I'm like, this nigga is so lame. And I'm just like, I look at him, I'm like, what do you want us to talk to you about? It's nothing to talk about, we're at work. So he's like, you talk to her. I'm like, listen, Dante, I don't have to talk to you if I don't want to. Simple as that. So then my other coworker, he comes to the front and he's like, whoa. Cause he hear me going off on him. Like, why you want me to talk to you? Like, no. So then, um, he pulls, he gets his uncle to come up to 
the job or whatever so his uncle is standing outside and i'm at the i'm like inside like and our gla our doors were glass so we see everything so i'm just like why is this man here what is who is this so um dante i see dante out there talking to him so i'm when dante come in i'm like you know him or whatever he's like oh yeah that's my uncle I'm like, but Dante, it's not time for you to go yet. So why is your uncle here? Oh, he gonna pick me up from work, but he was just coming up to coming up to what? Because I see his uncle standing there, staring at me and Ruby, like staring, like staring. So I'm just like, you gotta tell him, like, if he's not doing any, if he doesn't even service from us, like he has to go, whatever. So he's like, he asks again that same day, like, oh, do you and Ruby wanna go somewhere? Well, does my uncle wanna know if y'all wanna go, or whatever? So I'm like, this man done called this man up here to look at us. Then you ask me again about going out. We find out that this boy is 26. He say he's 26. So at this point, he's older than me. Because at that time, I was only like 23. So I'm like, this nigga 26 and he acting like a 16-year-old? Because I thought he was 18. He was so lame, y'all. Like, he would be outside, like, doing dance moves. Like, he was in fucking uh, Omarion on video. Touch. Dun, dun, dun. Like, he was out there like, dun, dun, dun whoa what is going on here so we all inside all of us is laughing at this boy because it's like why are you being so extra we all just laughing at him <laughs> so when he turned around like we stopped laughing i know that was me y'all but he was just doing too much he was asking for it um he asked to follow me on instagram i don't know why after all of this i still get this boy my thing for him to follow me so I'm posting like pictures or whatever and this boy freaking loves and likes all my pictures. So then he writes me the next morning on the way to work and he's like, hey, I have something to ask you. I don't even know why I responded, but I guess because I knew I was going to see him that same day. I was just like, let me respond so he don't ask me why I didn't respond. So I'm like, what's up? And he was just like, oh, I really want to tell you something, but I don't know how you're going to take it. He was like, I really like you and I really would like us to so and so and so. He's just like a long, guys, the paragraph is like this long, but then he unsends it. I had already read it, but he unsends it. So I was like, good, I don't got to respond. So I literally pretend like I didn't read it. I'm not sure if he knew that I did because, you know, sometimes they say read at the bottom. But I just pretend like I ain't seen nothing. And I just go in and ignore him or whatever. He um was just like, oh, like I really wanted to tell you something this morning. But I just know how you are. He already knew I was a firecracker. Like he just knew certain things not to say to me. So I was just like, what, Dante? What's up? Like just say it already. Like you keep saying stuff. What is it that you want me to know? So he's just like, oh, I like you. He said it again now. And I was like, Dante, no. Like, no. So he like, why? I was like, no, I'm good. At this time, like me and my boyfriend was not on good terms. Like, I think we were kind of like giving ourselves a break. But I still was like, even though we went together, like, I ew, no, like, I don't want you. If it was going to be like, if I was going to go out on a date with somebody, it would not be you the whole day. He looks sad, like sad, y'all, long face. So I go to the back, right? And I tell um, Greg, I'm like, Greg, I got to tell you something. So Greg, like, what's up? I was like, Greg, this fucking Dante nigga, he is like being disgusting. He's, I said, the first day he got here, he was saying he wanted to eat my cat. Then the next day, he said he had a dream about doing it and just some nasty stuff. I said, ever since then, he's been giving me like sexual looks. He be acting like he about to touch me. Like, yeah, y'all, another thing he was, he used to do, he used to act like he was going to touch me like in inappropriate ways. And I'll have to be like, yo, Dante, what are you doing? So I'm telling Greg and I'm like, right now I feel uncomfortable and I'm done with it. I'm tired of it i was like he already done asked me out he had his uncle come up here to look at me up and down i was like um it's annoying like i'm so sick of it and i told him like i don't feel comfortable and if it keeps going on i'm going to curse him out i'm gonna curse him out and that's why i went to greg y'all because i felt it like, so greg like oh my god i don't understand he was like that's wrong like oh my god he was greg was mad because remember i told y'all greg liked me too so greg was like like nah like he used to call me y'all he used to call me baby girl his baby girl so he was just like um uh like not my baby girl like no like so i'm gonna talk to him about it or whatever so he did he talked to him about it and um dante straightened up but he was still like a little weird so y'all a couple weeks later after that i realized that dante is starting to ask people to buy him shit like starting to ask people to buy him lunch and then eventually I start seeing like the rental car is not there no more. Like he's getting dropped off by his uncle. 
so everybody's like oh my god this boy owe me money greg like he owe me money for this lunch then freaking jay is like he owe me for this lunch then ruby is like he owe me because i bought him a drink whatever he ain't come to me yet y'all but he was coming so he came or whatever and he was just like no he didn't actually buy him nothing he was like oh because i used to cook or whatever so he's like oh every time you bring food it smells so good like if i give you some um money to buy groceries can you cook for me to bring um to bring me some lunch so i was like what he was like can you cook for me and bring it to lunch and i was like no he's like why like i'm he's like why not and i was like because you're not my man and i don't have to bring you anything so he was just like why even though if i'm gonna buy it i'm like look I cook for me and my son. I'm not bringing anything to you for lunch. Like, no, weird, just being weird. Like, you're trying to find a way to communicate with me, no. So he get an attitude, y'all, again. And he's giving me attitude. And like, um, he say something to Ruby. And he's just like, yes, yeah, since Andy don't want to cook nothing for me. And I looked at him and I was like, do you understand that you're not my man and I don't have to do nothing for you? I don't have to do shit for you. So he like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, nigga, don't stop. So yeah, y'all, this man started asking for food, everything. So everywhere I would move in the in the store, like everywhere I go, he followed behind me. He comes next to me. He's saying inappropriate things to the freaking customers. He told one of the customers that he, oh, he was like, yeah, I'm trying to talk to her, but she doesn't want to, she doesn't like me. She doesn't want to talk to me. And so I tell him like, you cannot tell customers that. Like you can't say that in front of customers. So y'all, when I was getting ready to leave that job, um, I had put my little two weeks in or whatever, and he found out that I was leaving, and he was like, damn, like, you're leaving me? And I was like, yeah, I'm leaving the job, not you. So later on that day, oh, he freaking is on the phone with this girl. So I'm just like, I don't say nothing, because I be on my phone too. I just ignore her, whatever but i can hear her on speaker and she's like babe you bought me the cat i don't know it was a cat or a dog or something like um i want you to come to the appointment or whatever like the freaking dog is a damn baby so i'm just like okay like i hear it and i'm laughing in my head because i'm like this boy bro like he sweared up and down he had no girlfriend he wanted to go out with me not that i cared but i was just so glad i was laughing in my head that i've never given this boy a chance to do anything because she is on the phone like babe and babe this and babe that and babe this so i'm pretending like i don't hear nothing i'm wiping everything down put stuff back or whatever and i go inside or whatever so later on that day he's like oh the girl that I was talking to on the phone like i don't say nothing to him about it he's like the girl i was talking to on the phone that was my ex he was like but you know she still want to make things work with me blah 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 i said dante i don't care you're not my boyfriend you're not my man i don't care you don't have to explain nothing to me he's like but i just wanted to tell you i don't want to ruin our chances i'm like dante nothing like we're, we're nothing like we're not gonna be anything dante nothing so he like man i just want to tell you i'm like listen and mind y'all like i said he looked like he was 18 he says he was 26 who knows i don't even know if he was lying about that i have no idea but later on i figure out like that job that he said he was a cop really it wasn't even a cop it was like it wasn't a security guard but it was probably something next to a security guard but that shit he was not a police officer and he got in trouble at the walmart because um some somebody i guess that was his friend but actually worked there too they said he was robbing or something like that so they had to let him go he came over here and he was like it was a big case against him but yeah like i was like he could be lying about his age because he looked like a little ass boy to me and it was just so ill to me because he was not attractive he was little as hell i think he was either maybe an inch taller than me or shorter and he was just not attractive I so yeah y'all that was Dante he was obsessed and even when I left Dante kept writing me on Instagram liking my pictures and eventually I guess he got the memo like I did not want him at all and then I had told Jay about it too and Jay was just like ew like ew and we had another employee y'all forgot to tell y'all this real quick but we had another employee and he was a boy and he was tall as hell he was so nice and he used to buy me lunch everything and Dante used to get mad because I used to talk to him. Like, not talk to him, like, in a relationship. But he was he was cool. And 
that's that day when he got got into it and he was just like you talk to you talk to her you always have conversation but he also said you talk to everybody else you give them attention but you don't talk to me and i and i told him why i didn't talk to him like because you make things weird like i don't have to worry about that with nobody else and so the the um other boy used to say he just mad because you don't want him like he used to give attitude like he's mad because you don't want him and i'll just be like man whatever but yeah y'all i am so sorry again if this story time was not what y'all was hoping for but in all honesty dante was a maniac dante was obsessed dante used to just it was so much more i can't even remember everything but dante used to irk my nerves and i'm so glad that i got up out of here i don't know where he is today i don't know if he's still there but yeah that's the end of the story time please make sure you like comment and subscribe y'all and i'm out of here i gotta go back to my vlog peace to you bye